Hey everyone, today we are exploring 18 must-have piping tools that will transfer your projects into something truly special. Stick around to uncover how these tools work their magic and take your creations to the next level. Let's dive in. The first tool that we are going to discuss today is Pipe Wrench. Pipe Wrench is widely used in piping and it is used for tightening and loosening threaded pipes and fittings. Here in this image, you can see two pipes, the blue one and the red one. The blue pipe wrench is being used to hold this pipe and the red one is used to tightening up the fitting into the pipe. So that's how it works, right? So basically, pipe wrench grips and hold pipes securely while installation or repair. In this image, you can see different parts of a pipe wrench. The most important part are jaws so it has two jaws one jaw is fixed so this jaw right here this is fixed jaw and this jaw which is mentioned is an adjustable jaw we can adjust this jaw by rotating this wheel here in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction so by rotating this wheel the jaws opens up and close and these pipe wrenches are mostly made up of steel and uh, their general size range is in between 6 inches to 24 inches. Next piping tool is pipe cutter. Pipe cutters are also widely used in piping and they are used for cutting pipes very accurately. Here in this image you can see different parts of a pipe cutter. The most important and crucial part of a pipe cutter is this cutter wheel this actually cuts the pipe by rolling over the pipe this is made up of hardened steel when we rotate this wheel of the pipe cutter this cutter wheel cuts the pipe in this image you can also see how it works we can cut different types of piping materials by using these pipe cutters including metals and plastic and these cutters are adjustable in order to accommodate different pipe diameters. Next piping tool is pipe threader. These are also called as ratchets or dies and they are commonly used in plumbing and construction for joining different pipes. They are used to make external threads on pipe ends. Here in this image you can see a piping nipple. You can see external threads are cutted on this piping nipple. So pipe threader is used to cut these threads, right? And here in this image, you can see a piping vise. And this pipe threader is being used to cut the threads. In order to cut uh, threads on different pipe diameters, uh, they have adjustable die or set of dies for it. Although manual pipe threaders are available, but there are electric pipe threaders that are much more efficient next piping tool is measuring tape measuring tape is essential for accurate measurements of pipe lengths fittings and other components measuring tape display measurements in inches or in centimeters or in millimeters as well next piping tool is pipe bender and it is used to bend the pipe it comes in different forms this right here is a hydraulic bender which is very efficient we apply the pressure from this lever and this actually bends the pipe there is a manual bender as well but that manual bender requires much more effort pipe benders are available in different sizes in this image you can see there are pipes that are bended by using this pipe bender next piping tool is adjustable pipe wrench adjustable pipe wrench are used to tighten or loose nut and bolts uh, used in pipe flanges in order to hold different uh, sizes of nuts and bolts we have one adjustable jaw available in this adjustable wrench and there is one fixed jaw we can adjust these jaws by using this worm screw and there is a handle where we grips this adjustable wrench adjustable wrench comes in different sizes but most common sizes are from 6 inches to 12 inches and uh, they are made up of forged or cast steel 
there are many uses and many benefits of this adjustable wrench but there is a limitation and that limitation is this adjustable wrench provides less grip than fixed spanner fixed spanner provides much more better grip than this adjustable wrench and that's why we can apply much more force while using the fixed spanner while opening or closing a nut or bolt next piping tool is level they come in uh, different categories this right here is a spirit level and uh, they are used for horizontal and vertical alignments they ensure proper levelness of pipes and mostly used material for levels are aluminum next tool is filler gauge filler gauges are used to measure gaps or clearances between two components and they are made up of metal strips in this image you can see these are metal strips and they are made up of high quality steel and they are very carefully calibrated in order to measure the precise thickness tolerances they ensure precise measurements for alignment tasks next piping tool is troy square troy square are used to measure right angle measurements in this image you can see this is a troy square it has a metal blade here and this is called as stock and the angle between blade and this stock is 90 degree mostly troy squares are used to check the perpendicularity of the pipe ends next piping tool is flaring tool if you can see this image this right here is a copper pipe and look at this end this is flared end and it is made by using this flaring tool this copper pipe has a fitting as well and the flared end will allow for secure connection for the fitting and it will be leak proof as well this right here is a flaring tool and it creates leak proof connections and they are mostly used on gas lines and refrigeration systems in order to make leak proof connections next tool is center punch this is a very useful tool before drilling we always use to mark a location and then we drill so before drilling we always use this center punch in order to make that small little indentation that will help to make that hole in correct location in this image you can see a center punch it has a pointed tip and it has a knurled or textured handle for better grip this center punch is made up of hardened steel next piping tool is torque wrench torque wrench is a calibrated tool used for applying precise torque for fasteners in this image you can see different parts of the torque wrench it has a dial that actually indicates the torque value it has a handle where we apply the force in this image you can see how to apply the force by using this torque wrench torque wrench is used for tightening bolts to a specific uh, torque value and it has a built-in torque indicator next piping tool is hexa it is used to cut pipes of different materials including metal and plastic in this image you can see the hexa it has a handle it has a frame and a removable blade this blade is a fine tooth removable blade and uh, this hexa is ideal for making precise cuts in tight or confined spaces next tool is screwdrivers although these are fundamental hand tools but they are widely used in piping and they are used for turning screws uh, they come in two forms uh, flattened head and phillips their uh, handle material uh, for comfortable grip uh, is plastic wood or rubber in order to provide a comfortable grip next tool is plier although they come in different types such as uh, needle nose pliers lineman's pliers and others uh, they have two pivoting jaws and they are used for gripping cutting and bending next tool is wire brush they have wires and they are used for cleaning the surfaces of the pipes removing the dust and rust from the surfaces of the pipes before welding next tool is chisels in this image you can see these are chisels and they come in different sizes and shapes 
they have a metal blade and they are used for cutting shaping or removing material by force our last wiping tool is hammer in this image you can see the hammer is used for adjusting components or delivering impact forces they come in different shapes and sizes and they are used in different materials like steel brass or rubber so that's it for piping tools if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching